But also, one thing I noticed that you, maybe you probably deleted, I couldn't find no EP, no albums or nothing. I see that you supposed to drop the 17 and another one, but couldn't find none of that stuff nowhere. And on SoundCloud, I see a little single stuff on Apple Music, but are you expected to release another album? Uh, in album, the day before? Yeah, I, I actually, I never released the album. Gotcha. Uh, I probably released the EP or something like that, and I deleted it like that night or something. Released, deleted all your social media. Yeah. What are you talking about, Lil Bow? Well, Lil Bow, yeah. Um, oh, Lil Bow, I never had an album. Uh, but Childhood Angel, I... Yeah, that was 17 was your debut? The Childhood Angel, or was that Lil Bow? I don't even know. See, I oh, wait, you're right. The, my birthday, I was supposed to release an album. Gotcha. Yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm still working on it. I want everything to be right when it drops. I want it just to be... I want to blow people's mind, actually show them. Like, show them some crazy shit. Put stories to it. I like that song that you did with uh, Rockstar D. The Tossy, Tossy, Designer Drugs. Yeah, <laughs> shout out Rockstar D. Hey, Dude, he another artist like that, too. Yeah, he's... Dude, he's versatile as fuck, bro. We actually, dude, when we made that song, it was in an abandoned, like, building. It yeah, when y'all recorded it, I mean, I shot a video. No, the, the recorded it. <laughs> it was, dude, it was on some, like, real deal, like, we was in the abyss, like, like windows broken and shit. It was just the engineer and the mic, and we fucking, it was hot as shit in there. We, <laughs> that song took, like, 20 minutes. Shit was crazy. Shout out Rockstar D. We got, we got hella shit. We got like four songs. Hell yeah. Hasn't dropped. I mean, it's, it dropped at the right time, I'm sure. Oh yeah. And also you did the um song with um, Bookie Glocks. Oh, Death Row? Uh -huh. Yeah, shout out Bookie Glocks. Hell yeah. I, you, like, you like shit, everybody hitting you up. Were they hitting you up or are you just getting on with being around them at the time? Um, basically all together. Yeah. Like. Tori actually made the Buki Glock song happen. Okay. I sent, cause I, I got a good connection with Tori. I sent him the uh, Death Row. It was just a hook. And he said, he said, he said, don't send it to someone else. I'm about to put someone on it. I said, all right. And then he said, Buki Glock hopped on in there. He sent it back and then I started talking to Buki Glock. And just from there, cool. Yeah, yeah. And somebody like you said, the hooks. Hooks, they very catchy, man. You like you did it with Rockstar D, um, Jigs, and shit. I'm sure you got a few more in your arsenal that you ain't out yet. Who knows? Dude, that's crazy <laughs> shit. Have you heard me and uh, Benji Kell's song? That too. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy. Benji Kell's another, you know, another person, you know. But you know, of course, like the city have their own idea of what they're gonna sell. Like you said for like the. I don't even listen. To them. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. Fuck them. Making music, understand, but I do understand the shit behind it. But dang, I don't give a fuck. I'm going off the who I met in person. You know what I mean? Gotcha. 